Hi everyone, here I have a residual plot from a bivariate regression of a Y variable sales on the X variable which is the expenditure on TV ads. And what I've got on the vertical axis is some form of rescaled residual, so the variance of the residuals is 1. Here I've chosen the studentized residual, you could also pick the standardized. And on the horizontal axis I've got the predictor, which is the TV advertisement expenditure on that. What I've got here are the bands placed at plus and minus 2 and what these bands are there to do is to help to see whether there are any outliers, regression outliers. And so anything falling outside, way outside the bands, is suggestive of something that you need to look at. It's a regression outlier. If we look over, uh, over 2, we have five observations below we've got minus two we've got four now as I said it's a bit of subjective by nature so these points because they're just very close but they're above we might just leave them alone these ones guys depending on what you feel you may look into as regression outliers but the main thing is like we've got these bands here to show us how to do that and SPSS doesn't give you these bands as one of you pointed out in a private communication. So now I'm going to show you how to get those. Okay, so first I run the regression, that's analyze, regression linear. Then I move the dependent variable, let's just reset this so it looks like dependent variable, which is the sales into the dependent box, my predictor into the independence box. I could use plots, but I want to purpose. I want to pick. Uh, I want to pick the studentized versus the predictor. So I want to save the studentized. Okay. All right. So then we can see that it's been saved. Good. All right. Now to do the plot. So for the plot, I'm going to use, there's two ways to do this. The old way is to go through the legacy dialogues and do the scatter plot. But as the name suggests, legacy means for the, it's carried over from the old previous versions of the SPSS. But these days, they're trying to shift us over to the new one, which is Chart Builder. Okay, I haven't demoed this Chart Builder before, so I'll do it now. And there are all these types to choose from. What we want is scatterplot. Now, there are different types of scatterplot. If we hover over them, you can see there's a yellow box that tells you what we have here. So we want the simple scatterplot. If we drag that over, can I just reset this? Okay, because it's remember what I did from before. So I grab hold of this guy, left click on the mouse, drag it over into this box. Okay. And then I want, in any order, drag it onto the y and x axis respectively. So I want sales. No, I, I, don't, I want the predictor, which is TV, into the x-axis, and the studentized residual here. Make sure you drag it over so the box highlights, because if it's way outside, you can see it's not highlighted, so if you let go, it'll return like this, so it won't go. So you've got to drag it over, and you can see there's a red box appearing, so it's, it's, uh, it's registered that it's for that box, okay? And then you see some uh, dots there, now it's now changed patterns. Then we we'll click OK. All right, then we have the graph. Now, as you see, it doesn't have any lines. It doesn't have the two bars. So how to do that? Well, click in the chart. Click on these. Uh, now, you have to be careful. Click on some of these data points. When you click on that chart, the chart editor opens up. And what you want here is to go over this, where it says add fit line at total. When you do that, box pops up. Under the tab fit line, what you've got at the moment is there's two boxes. This top box asks us what, we're not interested in it, but it's asking us uh, what kind of line do you want to fit to, fit to these residuals? Well, I'm not actually interested, so I'll just leave it at linear, uh, and that gives us this line at around uh, zero, because uh, that's the mean of the, all these dots. But let's leave that alone. It's this what we're interested in. To get the bands that we want, we click 
under inter individual and leave it at 95. This here attach label to line that is for the regression box here, the actual equation. If you don't want it, it's not quite, it's, it's pretty ugly. I just untick that. Then we've got apply. Now you see the two lines have appeared. Now we can, as you saw in my early picture, it was red, right? So we can change these lines. Um, so I had to click out there because it was, you can see it's a yellow, yellow kind of uh, border along this line because that's meaning that it's going to act on this line. Well, we don't want any, we don't want to edit that line. We want to edit the bands. So let's click anywhere, either of the bands. So you can see it's a yellow highlight. Bit fiddly. Right, so there you see I got it. First time I did it, it got the outer box, but you got to click around there so you can see it's highlighted, right? So they're both highlighted and then double click. Alright, so when you double click it opens the same properties box again, but now we can go over to lines and this is where you can just change the lines. So you can see some usual econometrics programs that give you some it's easy to see if you have this, some different types. So I've got a dotted line here. I can change the color as well. And apply. And wait. Oh. Dotted line. Color. And apply. I didn't accept it the first two times, but just uh, it did the third time, uh, just a bug or something, and then close. And there you have it. Also, if you don't want the R square linear there, just click on that box. So how this chart editor works is it's um, all these little boxes surrounding the output. So you have to click around the box that you want to edit, and then it will highlight it then you know it's acting on there so here I just want to delete that box ugly okay, and uh, the background is quite grey so this time I want to click anywhere in the grey region way away from the dots and the lines and here the outer edges of the box is highlighted uh, the fill we do not want it to fill so where it says fill here we want to click this here strike out for fill that means there's no fill there you go, so it's now white, if you can see it on the screen. That will look better for when you're printing out. And then when we're done, we just click this close here, the top right, and then our main screen has now edited, the graph has edited, and there it is. All right, so I've shown you here how to add the bands plus and minus two, so it helps you identify regression outliers. Some people prefer to put them in plus and minus three, but this method here shows you how to do it plus and minus two. Okay guys, so I hope that's been helpful. If you want more SPSS help, there's tons on my video. Good luck. Well, on my channel. Good luck.